And everybody's Hi. ready. Do you ever, do you, you've seen that Carol Burnett episode with um, Madeline Kahn. And I think it was Madeline Kahn, right? Where they're, she's all, she's all into the meta, you know, the weird stuff, metaphysical. And she's like, in our circles, in our circles. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I remember that one, but yeah. anyhow. So here we are, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Um, Hi. I am Andrew Abrams, Artistic Director of Capital City Theater. And I'm Gail Becker, Director of Education. Of? Capital City Theater. No, say it right. Oh, Capital City Theater. There we go. Theater. Ah! Theater. We're a theater. <laughs> theater. Or whatever. Marcus Anyhow, theater. we're here bringing you the first five years of Capital City Theater. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode. Uh, and we're, we're talking to... Um, Artists that have joined us for these productions we've had for the first five years. We're seeing how they're doing, how they're getting through their quarantine, how they're preparing for uh, the next step in the their careers and lives and, and what they've been up to. Uh, what else, Andy? What else we Well, talking? and this this uh, section of interviews, we're actually doing, uh, we're talking to people from our first educational, our, our, our first conservatory production of Carrie that we did last summer. We're talking to a couple of people involved, not just students, but uh, we'll be talking to uh, yes. the director as well. So, so let's get right to it. Let's get to Today, it. Today, we are going to chat with Carrie herself. Oh, now she's Spider-Woman. She's Wait. sideways. <laughs> she's Spider-Woman. There we go. There we go. There yeah, go. nice. It's Letitia Hollard, everybody. Welcome, Letitia. Letitia Hollard. <laughs> Hollard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you've never heard that before. I do. Good to see you, Letitia. Uh, how are you doing? Are you, uh, are you, are you, are you done with school, sort of like, or you do have still Zoom um, have, yeah, classes? It's two, it's two more weeks of school, but it's kind of weird because they just give us assignments and we just have to complete them in a week. Got so it. It's like an hour a day. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, Letitia, you were in our very first production of our conservatory production and Carrie the Musical, and you were actually Carrie. <laughs> so yeah. that is super she was cool. The, she was in the titular role. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tell us, um, well, since this was a very you know, first conservatory production, working with uh, students and throwing them into the rigors of a kind of like a full professional contract, um, you've You've worked all over town. You worked all over uh, Wisconsin, sort of. You've done yeah. shows with multiple uh, theater companies. Um, tell us a little bit about why the conservatory production might have been a little different for you or what you, you benefits you got from it. I mean, I really love this program, especially because I feel that a lot of student programs, they kind of fall into that, we're going to prepare you for the real world, but they don't actually, like, having a contract where it's, or having a program where you have your 10 minute breaks, everyone's treating you like an equity actor, like Jake, the director, he was so great of like treating us like we're normal working actors. And um, I think that's something that you don't find a lot um, in other programs for kids our age. Nice. You know? and, we always, and we always point out the fact that, I mean, we did this with, with Tess, we interviewed Tess on uh, this, this last time. Yeah, but, uh, it, we always point this out too, in that even in college, uh, college productions, you're still rehearsing for six or seven weeks. Whereas in regional theater, you tend to rehearse for three or four. And yeah. so, so when we, we have you guys, you know, rehearsing Carrie, you rehearsed for three weeks. Two and then a and, tech week, right. Yeah. And it was like two weeks, honestly, because of that whole overlap with advanced. With Find Your Life, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It went really fast, but I mean, it just shows you how you need to know your material, need to do your research before it all happens. And um, I, I thought it was a lot of fun, especially because like all the kids that are in it, everyone who's in it, it's like, I've worked with, most of them at least once and so having that comfortable space to to bounce off each other no one was scared to like bring out something in the workspace so nice. that was a lot of fun. speaking of uh uh preparing tell us some of the stuff you did to get yeah, carry I mean, get, get carry in your body that had to have <laughs> been uh, mentally hard for you yeah yeah, yeah. emotionally <laughs> I mean, I was, I kind of felt weird too, because 
I was trying to keep myself away from all my actual friends. <laughs> I, I wanted to feel isolated. I wanted to feel like the feelings I carry. Because I don't, I'm very outgoing. Mm -hmm. So I don't really feel no, like I'm outside yeah. of a friend group or something <laughs> like that. But the whole time I would, I would try to keep myself away a bit. And especially before, I did a really big prep before we went on stage. I mean, people, people would ask me if I was okay. I'd like just, I think it was like 20 minutes before we'd go on, I would just sit down and stare into a black curtain and listen to people talk and be like, you don't want to talk to me. And just all these things of feeling wow. like I'm isolated. Um, That's cool. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you watch any of the Carrie movies just to sort of get a, a storyline in your head a little bit? Which one, yeah. which one was yeah. your favorite? Because I know there's the like three one. out there. Um, what's her what, name? The first Sissy one. Spacek? Yes, she's a legend. Oh my God. The <laughs> new one where, I, I don't like it that much, where, I mean, there's some cool effects in it where she like breaks a car or like makes someone crash. Yeah. And it's like when she goes out of her mind, it's crazy. But the, I like, sp like Spacek better. So. Don't forget there's a there is a sequel to the first one too. <laughs> right. There's a sequel where Sue goes back. I right. I can't. I mean, either. the book's always like the book is the best. That's where I went first. Is the book yeah. I highlighted and I like looked at these little spots and um and and Jake was really great because I would talk to him about about the book and everyone everyone read the book. Everyone had the book and we were doing our research, which again you don't always see that in in high school, college, in these types of programs, like people actually doing the research and trying to dive and do some character development like that. Yeah, in such little time. Yeah. <laughs> so you've had a, um, not to branch away from Carrie, but you know, you, you've had a, a pretty busy planned spring that got, of course, all tossed upside down. Can you tell us about some of the things that Everything. you, yeah, that, that was going to happen that didn't? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where to start? I mean, I was in Peter Pan and that closed, um, right before. You were Peter. Yeah, I was Peter, yeah. another titular role. Another titular um, role. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that the exactly. reason that I said the reason that I said that is there's that very funny moment in um uh in what's it called? The the one with uh the movie um Lady Bird where oh. she gets cast as the Tempest and and she goes, I got cast as the Tempest and Beady Beady Feldstein says, Um, it's the titular role. <laughs> <laughs> Cracks me up every time. I see it. All right, <laughs> so Pe Peter Pan, right. and then that obviously closed right after your last dress rehearsal. <clears throat> yeah, and then I had yeah. So, but the good thing is we're doing that again next year. And then I have Jerry Ensemble where right. everything's canceled. Mm -hmm. um, APT where I was going to do Sense and Sensibility. That's my whole summer just in the trash. Wow. Um, <laughs> and then um, then I wanted to do Merrily. I was going to audition, but right. hopefully next year. <laughs> okay. So with all that being, you know, uh, canceled, <laughs> uh, is there anything that you've got on your plate that hopefully will continue once we get back into it in the fall and such? Like, is your school mean, thinking of doing a, a musical in the fall? Well, they yeah, are. They're doing Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> but I mean, but again, is that going to be postponed or? I, like, honestly, my hopes are not up for anything right now, unless it's in the spring. Then I'm like, oh, maybe that'll happen. But got it. I'm I'm focusing on 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 college. So like doing right. This is your senior year, year, right? Yeah, coming into my senior year right now. So I'm working on my ACTs and, and my essays, but especially my college auditions, um, working on those monologues and songs and everything, which takes a lot of time, which yeah. I'm blessed, I guess, to have this time outside of school to work on everything, so. That is true, that is true. Yeah. Tell us one of your, like, back to Carrie, tell us one of your favorite memories, <laughs> whether it's rehearsal or outside of rehearsal or in the performance or what happened maybe that, you know, that you thought, oh, <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, or funny or strange so or um, 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 uh, what happened I'm trying to think you had to deal with some special effects I know 
Oh yeah, that was so fun. The the whole the, the I mean, there's special effects that happen throughout the show, but the ending when crazy when Carrie goes out of her mind and kills everyone, that was spoiler. So oh, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> well, oh no! Oh no! Spoiler alert! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Uh, no, it was so much fun to, to especially it, um, it was Jamal's neck crack when I like, we were talking, because I talked to, uh, I, I forgot where I went into this conversation with Jim Ridge, where he was talking about doing, I think, Macbeth one time, and he was saying that you, they use like a, like a, a plastic, like water bottle, kind of, not a water bottle, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it makes that yeah. sound. Yeah. And yeah, he crushed it. And so it sounds like a neck, like, <laughs> And so we started doing I'm that right. with, with Jamal, and he did this, it's so cool. He like went squirrel, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And, <laughs> and it really looked like his neck was like getting cracked. And every time I would have to stop myself from cracking up anytime I saw him do it. Because he would say under his breath, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel, I didn't know oh, that, right. that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, well, and you had some mean, you know, some crazy vocals in that show, too. I mean, you were singing a lot in that show. I was intimidated because I didn't, I mean, I sing, but at, before that, I wasn't really confident in my singing. Like, it's kind of like one of those things where, I don't know, when I sing, I'm I, I'm scared of my voice sometimes. Sound good, right? <laughs> But um, with that show, there were so many difficult songs, which really pushed me into like being accountable for my voice and like really listening to myself and being like, no, this doesn't sound bad. And, and just thinking more about the acting aspect of it than, right. than oh, I'm trying to hit this note. And, I, and it really opened up a lot of doors into my confidence in singing. And now to be, to be in the production, you have had to have taken the summer intensive Find Your Light. That's part of yeah. the requirements of being in the production. And you took it that same year. Mm-hmm. Um, t- did Find you know, tell us maybe a little bit about what Find Your Light and like working on that singing confidence did for you or what did you pull from Find Your Light that helped you with the um, production? Yeah, what helped me a lot was actually the song you guys, because you pick a song for us and, and we work on a cut together for an audition. Um, and it helped a lot, the song you chose for me, uh, Where's the Warmth? Um, and and just because I could naturally do that song as a monologue and I could work through it from outside of 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 the singing aspect and work into it. And we talk about like acting through song, that also helped a ton with um, gaining confidence in, in, in my, my vocal abilities. And we didn't even yeah. pay her to say that. We <laughs> didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> and we love it when people and we, talk Here are the notes acting. for it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> just reading the text. Center the notes, right, Gail? Just read that note card. No, no that's I mean, excellent. You know, um, we say acting the song is, is, is everything and, and good for you for finding that way in because obviously it worked for Carrie really well. Yeah, um, I'm using it outside of 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 Carrie and every show I'm doing now. So I know it's early to think this, but do you have a favorite school that you're looking at at all, or are you still? Uh, is the jury still out? I mean, honestly, what's right a dream? Now, Any dream for you? What do you got? Dream? Any yeah, dream will dream do. Would be like <laughs> Juilliard or Car- Carnegie Mellon, but or DePaul. I really like DePaul too. But I mean, Juilliard would be the, the dream. Wow, good for but, you. Okay. But um, that, yeah, I don't like talking about it because it's like so hard. Don't jinx so I'm it. just gonna work hard. Huh? Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. <laughs> don't jinx it. <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> but I mean, I'll just keep on working hard and try to get to it. But um, I think yeah. we're crossed. Go ahead. Great. Well, I think you have a lot of potential, Letitia, and, and I think any of those dreams would probably be atten- attainable. So you, I think Thank you can you. do it. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, okay, you. well, thank you so much for being part of the first five years. And actually, you were the first conservatory production. So yeah, you're like we'll the Kelly. You're like the Kelly Clarkson of the conservatory production. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> you were the first titular role in the first conservatory production. <laughs> and also, what a killer show!
show to do as her first production. Like, <laughs> literally like, killer. Mary, what the heck? That's so, it's so killer. Like, I haven't seen anything so daring. Um, <laughs> well, there. you know, we know that it didn't, you know, it was the giant flop on one of the biggest flops on Broadway ever, but then they yeah. re revised it. And I like that show a lot. I never got tired of watching it ever. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was really fun. And okay. you, and you, that cast was amazing. And under, uh, uh, Jake's direction and Evan's musical direction, and it was, oh, it was, yeah, it was just good. It was great. I love Evan it. wrote the Evan Lang wrote the jingle to our CCP first oh, five years. He's interview so there. what? Like I think that was the whole cast. We all loved Evan. And one day, like before, during Tech Week, we did this dress up thing, and everyone. I think one of the days, everyone dressed up like Evan, and everyone dressed up as Jake as well. Just <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Uh, we love them so much. Good. <laughs> well, um, best of luck in the rest of this summer. And we'll be watching out for you, of course, in the fall and seeing what's going on. And we... Um, and we'll see you in fine July. Yeah. Yeah, we'll Bring do that. To you. All right. <laughs> take care, hon. Yeah, we'll take bye. you later. Thanks, see ya. <clears throat> oh, she's so delightful. Man, and she's talented, so talented. Too. So talented. Holy crap. Um, yeah. This is, this is a lot of fun for us to do. And, uh, you know, we know that, that you have a lot of, of places that you can support and a lot of places that need your support. And we are always grateful when you choose us. Uh, so if you are, are interested in, in helping fund Capital City Theater so that we can keep bringing you quality professional the, theater and education. And the conservatory, yeah, for sure. Let's say, and education, the conservatory. Yeah. Uh, go to CCT. <laughs> I did it. I can't I don't even know the website. <laughs> go to Capital City <laughs> Don't go to cct.com. That's don't not our website. Don't go there. I well, wonder what that is. That. I'm not going to look it up. I don't know. We should screen um, share that once. No, 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 we should. <laughs> no. no we Are should. you looking it up to see if there is a cct.com? It it's, 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 uh, it's, it's not, for, it's for sale. <gasps> oh, like we can afford to buy that from some guy. Well, Somebody clearly else. we're going to be having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Because I never thought that. that would be an option. Yeah. But anyway, okay. go to capitalcitytheater.org and Org. Hit the donate yes. button. <laughs> and uh, Capital Theatre. Yeah. And, dot org. And uh, hit the donate button and give two bucks if you want. Or two yeah. million. <clears throat> so we've got a we couple more. Of, from two to two million. We have a couple more. <laughs> two million. And a couple more installments going on uh, for the first five years. So don't go away because there'll be more coming up. Uh, a few things. We're actually going to um, not only talk about the first five years of um, the production, but we are going to sort of branch out into the first five years of some of the other artists that have worked for us, whether it's been uh, behind the scenes or with our conservatory or something like, or have come to do workshops with us, things like that, guest artists. And then so, we'll see where we go from there. Who knows? Lots of things in the future. Exactly. But we're grateful right. to our team that helped uh, make it happen. And uh, stay safe, everybody. We're getting through this one day at a time. One day at a day time. At a time. Da, 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 la, da, da, la, la, la. Yeah, that's okay. it. All right. All right. Take care, everybody. All right. See ya. Bye.